Hey YouTubers, I want to take a minute today and show you guys how to make beef jerky with a dehydrator. Um, I'll give you my recipe that I always use. Uh, the recipe that I'm going to give you here is good for a pound. I'm going to do about a pound and three quarters worth of meat, so I'll be doubling this. So the first thing you're going to need is to mix in is the four tablespoons of soy sauce, four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of the ketchup, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of the onion salt, and a half a teaspoon of the salt. So you'll mix that all together and it'll look like this when it's all once all done you'll get a nice thick marinade here. And uh, <clears throat> next thing of course you need is your meat. This here I use I'm using top brown that I picked up the other day. The butcher can cut that thin for you or if you have a sharp knife you can come home and do it. But you don't want to cut it too thick. You use uh, top round or you can use um, sirloin tip, something along those lines. You want something real lean and not real fatty. The other thing you're going to need is a dehydrator. This one is a Walmart special. I picked it up for like 40 bucks. Um, you don't have to have anything special to make this jerky. The other thing that I like to use is the Ziploc vacuum seal bags. It comes with the little the little vacuum here. You just, you just put it on right here and you suck all the air out and what that will do is open the pores of the meat so the marinade can get in and give you a little bit better flavor. So I'm going to split this up into these two bags and I'll show you how the vacuum sealer works here in just a second. Alright so then after you get everything in your Ziploc bag all you do is there's a little circle here you knead everything around here so your sauce gets around and then you just suck the air out and if you have like a regular food processor at home you know a uh, vacuum sealer I mean you can just do it that way too you don't have to buy these but with this will this will open the pores of the meat and your marinade will get in there much nicer give it a nice more even taste and uh, then the only thing you gotta do is let this sit overnight in the fridge and tomorrow uh, we'll put this on the dehydrator alright so the meats marinated all night so we're gonna dump it out on this paper plate here and then we're going to put it on our trays, get this thing dehydrating. So that's what it looks like after it's sat all night in the fridge with the vacuum. Now the way this works here, this only goes on one way. So you got to make sure when you load it, you got to put it on there the right way so it'll work. And you just kind of want to lay it on there, nice and flat. Leave a little bit of space in between them. That way the air flows around everything. And this dehydrator blows warm air through there so it, it cooks this and dries it out all at the same time. It usually does a pretty good job. I'm thinking this should take about eight hours to get all this done. I cut it a little bit thicker than I normally do and normally I can get this whole thing done. With about, I can normally do two pounds in, in six to eight hours so I think this will probably take a little longer. So then when you put your next one on, you know, you got to watch how you put it because that's the wrong way. You got to set this one upside down. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This runs pretty quietly. It's well, I think this has been well worth the uh, 40 bucks that I spent on it. Alright, I had enough meat to do three three layers. This particular Presto dehydrator comes with four of them, but I only need three. So then you just set the lid on it like that. It doesn't have any uh it doesn't have an on or off setting, or I mean a, a heat setting, it's just on or off, and there's no switch, so you just gotta plug it in. And then it kicks on like that and it'll run like that for a few hours and make the house smell like beef jerky. So when this is done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, we're back here. It's been about six and a half hours. And uh, it's, it's all good to go now. But uh, it took a little bit less time than I thought it was going to take. But that's okay. So as you see, it doesn't take much to make some beef jerky. Just a little bit of time. And uh and a dehydrator so that's that's how you do it hey thanks for watching guys